Hi, this is Colin Greatwood, Applications Engineer at LMI Technologies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use exposure to properly set and image a wooden block. This specific video is going to target using a single exposure and how to set that using the video mode in conjunction with your scan mode of preference, either profile or surface. So the sensor that you see here has just recently been factory restored and the default exposure for this line profiler, this 2330, is 400 microseconds. Now this produces a really nice clean line as you can see here in the image, but how do we know that our exposure has been optimized so we can get the greatest max frame rate possible? Well first what we're going to do is even though I want to scan in profile mode, I'm going to jump over into video mode to see what we have coming back on the sensor chip. You'll notice that your frame of reference changes to X and Y in pixels. Now this line, as you can tell, is pretty white. Um, we're going to zoom into the center here to see what kind of value we're receiving on the sensor chip. On the chip, at this X and Y pixel position, we're receiving an 8-bit value of 255. Now you can see also above and below this pixel in the center of the screen, I'm also getting a value of 255. If I turn on the exposure and show spots, you can see that the center of this line is pretty washed out. Now this may not appear to be a problem while you're in profile mode or surface mode, but what this does is it gives you a variable, uh, a variable height map position. You don't truly know where the center of gravity for a specific column is, and this is going to affect the height that's output uh, because your height can vary based on the number of pixels that are washed out here. You're not getting useful information. So what we want to do is give ourselves a gradient across any particular column that you see here. And that's X column just to be specific in this view. So we're going to tune our exposure, not using auto set, down a bit until we get to a good gradient. So as you can see, we're still washing out at least three pixels here in the center but we are getting more grayscale values as we reduce our exposure. Now let's zoom in and take a look at this. You can see we have non-black values, non-zero values for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pixels here. So that's a good start. But the center where we would expect our height or our spot to be selected is of value 110, 115, 115, 115, which is a little low. So I'm going to increase this just a little bit. We want to make the most use of our laser possible. 125. We're getting there. You can start to see that the center of our line here that we've been looking at is actually shifted towards the top of the screen. You wouldn't have known that if we had stayed with saturated pixels here in the center. 198, we could probably go a little bit farther. Let's leave it there. The peaks that we're seeing here are at 230 to 245. So we're not saturating almost any of these pixels. There's one right there. But the majority of our line has a gradient, which means that I have a grayscale value across this column that tells me where my center of gravity is. This is going to give you a more refined position when you jump back over into profile or surface mode and it's likely to be more accurate a more accurate representation of your true height so we'll jump back over into profile granted our profile doesn't look particularly too different when you look at it this way but it will be presenting you with more accurate height data